from Down Under. I just want to present uh, some stories as they are uh, just over the last couple of days. Some of them, uh, of course, have been headlines uh, from, uh, from yesterday or today. Others are a little bit older and I'm going to present them in no particular order, but I will put the, uh, the links down in the description box below. So the first thing is uh, the Arctic death spiral speeds up sixfold driving coastal permafrost collapse. The Arctic just saw its hottest May on record. Now this is from Joe Rom from Think Progress, uh, not exactly the most radical um, commentator on uh, climate change. Uh, and drone surveys have revealed erosion of coastal permafrost in the Arctic up to three feet a day. Researchers reported Friday that the recent rate of erosion is six times higher than the historic rate. Meanwhile, the Arctic just saw the hottest May on record with temperatures in northwest Russia hitting a remarkable 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius. Global warming is driving Arctic sea ice to near record lows, which in turn is driving ever worsening uh, summer heat waves in the southern United States, according to another new study. And uh, Fisherman warns Gulf waters are carrying fresh eating bacteria. And then uh, here from Mexico, uh, as heavy rains, floods, shopping center, musicians play the Titanic theme. And then now, uh, I've just, yeah, this is, I can't, I, I'm not going be behind a, um, a paywall for this. This is from the Washington Post. Uh, picture of the week. Dallas is swallowed by a massive rain bomb. This storm unloaded all of its rain right over downtown. And then there's this. Uh, a patch of dry ground adjacent to the Mississippi River is a monument to bad, bad flood policy. So that's all that's above water. And then uh, Europe, of course, if they can't send their rubbish to uh, China and elsewhere in the uh, developing world, uh, they can't deal with their own rubbish, so they have to send it somewhere. So it looks as though uh, Romania is the next uh, target and the locals are not at all happy about that. And then um, reading all of these stories, of course, uh, Obama did this before Trump, um, after Fukushima. Irresponsible and outrageous uh, Trump Department of Energy redefines high-level nuclear waste to low level to cut corners on disposal costs. Well, I remember when Obama changed the um, uh, what was uh, unsafe radiation uh, to uh, safe radiation. So uh, yeah, uh, of course, um, it's all Trump's fault. And then uh, just to illustrate that, uh, we get all the propaganda, uh, but what about the Democrats? Why won't the Democrats hold a climate change debate? National Democratic, Democratic National Committee faces backlash after it rejects calls to highlight cr climate crisis. So I remember during the 2016 elections, Hillary Clinton, after she uh, beat uh, uh, Bernie Sanders through foul means, she lost all interest in talking about climate change. And then uh, Brazil guts environmental agency and clears the way for unchecked for, for deforestation. President 
Bolsonaro appears intent on decriminalizing Amazon deforestation, ending most fines, straitjacketing law enforcement, and gutting environmental agencies with mass firings. And in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, you could see one of the largest dead zones in history this year. Based on current conditions, some scientists think that the Gulf of Mexico will experience the second largest dead zone on record in July. And they were first noticed in the area in the 1970s, but they've been growing in size ever since. Based on current conditions, some scientists think that the Gulf of Mexico will experience the second largest dead zone on record in July. And uh, again, from the Washington Post, uh, it is horrid. India roasts under heat wave with temperatures above 120 degrees. And that is record, uh, reported elsewhere, well, actually quite widely. And again, on rubbish, uh, India, rubbish mountain to rise higher than the Taj Mahal. India's tallest rubbish mountain in New Delhi is on course to rise higher than the Taj Mahal in the next year, becoming a fetid symbol for what the UN consid considers the world's most polluted capital. And uh, this from uh, uh, from Global Research, an article on the great insect dying in Europe and North America. Numerous insect species in decline, confirmed by entomologists. And uh, a shocking study shows fracking is depleting U.S. drinking water sources at a catastrophic rate. A Duke University study says the fracking industry is sucking up the nation's drinkable water and replacing it with toxic waste. Well, we always knew that it would do that. Uh, if I was in the United States, I'd be very worried by this, uh, yeah, along with everything else. And Kuwait records the world's highest temperature. Kuwait registered the highest temperature in the world on Saturday, 52.2 degrees Celsius in the shade. And I'm sorry, I don't have the figure in Fahrenheit for that. In Mitribar in the north of the country, according to a member of the Arab Union of Space and Astronomy, Dr. Khalid al Zakh of Saudi Arabia. Uh, temperatures that reached 49 degrees at Kuwait Airport caused increased consumption of power as the load register reached 13,500 megawatts, an increase of 600 megawatts on Friday. What about the poor people that have to stay outside? And meanwhile, in Britain, June expected to be the wettest on record as the Met Office warns of potential floods. And again, uh, from a different source, UK weather latest Met Office issues danger to life warning of a flooding as months rain set to fall in six hours, the risk of fast flowing flooding as deluges soak London and South East England, say forecasters. Fast flowing flooding could pose a danger to life as more than a month's worth of rain, and it rains a lot in England, uh, soaks part of England in less than six hours, forecasters have warned. The Met Office has issued an amber weather warning for London and the South East, where intense deluges and thunderstorms are expected on Monday evening. Up to 60 millimetres of rain is forecast to fall over four to six hours in some areas of southern England, which is has an average June rainfall of 51 millimetres. A yellow warning 
for disruption caused by heavy prolonged rainfall is in place for the whole of the day across the southeast London, the Midlands and parts of Yorkshire. And then back to India, Bhopal bakes in hottest June day ever at 46 degrees Celsius. And then on the same day, Indore uh, baked in the hottest day of the season at 44 degrees. The wait for the monsoon is going to be long and torturous. For Bhopalis, even indoors or sun, sundown is no comfort as the mercury stood at 43 degrees even at 8 p.m. on Friday. And with the minimum temperatures at 32.5 degrees, 6 degrees above normal, 6 degrees above normal, there is no respite from the heat. Hot winds swept through the city at 24 kilometers per hour, leaving des streets deserted. There is a heat wave warning for Saturday. Well, having been in India during the hot season, I can't even begin to imagine what this would be like to live through. And then meanwhile, uh, millions threatened by massive wildfire in Arizona. There was quite a good uh, video that came with, with this. Um, dangerous heat is threat threatening never, nearly 10 million Americans in the West. The threat comes as the massive wildfire burns in Arizona. Car California's largest power company has cut power to customers due to extreme fire risk. And... Um, Back to India again. India facing the worst water crisis in its history. India is facing its worst ever water crisis with some 600 million people facing acute water shortage. A government think tank says the Niti Aayog report, which draws on data from 20. Four of 20, India's 29 states says the crisis is only going to get worse in the years ahead. It also warns that 21 cities are likely to run out of groundwater by 2020 next year, despite increasing demand. This would also threaten food security as 80% of water is used in agriculture. And in New Zealand, uh, there are warnings uh, about the Alpine fault. Quake is the big one coming. Uh, one of the country's Potentially most destructive fault lines rumbled at the weekend, but does this mean a big one is on the way? Queenstown residents were woken up early on Sunday morning by a relatively shallow magnitude 5.5 tremor centred just northeast of Milford Sound on the Alpine Fault. And then... Um, Oh, I think I might have shown this before. A uh, shocking study shows fracking depleting US drinking water so sources at a catastrophic rate. And then again, we're repeating ourselves. India weather temperature passes 50 degrees Celsius in northern India. A heat wave is suddenly borne down on millions of people, killing several as the temperature passes 50 degrees. Temperatures past 50 degrees Celsius in northern India as an unrelenting heat wave triggered warnings of water shortages and heat stroke. The thermometer hits 50.6 degrees Celsius in the Rajasthan desert city of Churu over the weekend, the weather department said. All of Rajasthan suffered in severe heat with several cities hitting maximum temperatures above 47 degrees Celsius. And that's it from me. So um, 